Today we are going to be putting YouTube videos inside OBS. Hey, welcome to The Harvest is Ready. Are you empowered by God? Well, hopefully this video is going to help you and your church, your ministry, and even maybe you're just a casual passerby that wants to learn. Fantastic. You're all welcome here. Now, we're going to learn how to put YouTube videos inside OBS. Now, please note, you have to have permission to do this. You know, you can't just, you need to make sure that you don't break any copyright rules. But it is an important little feature that we can do, and it's quite simple. So let's have a look. Okay, so here, if you go to YouTube's plays about embedding, uh, how you can embed your videos in, uh, in YouTube, they tend to use an iframe, but of course in OBS it's not going to be quite the right thing to do. But it still follows the similar pra parameters here. As you can see here, you've got the www.youtube.com embed and the video ID. Now how do we get this? Well, when you share a video, you'll get a link like this, and you can see here there's a source here. So let's let's have a look at that okay let's let's go to one of my channel and look at a latest video you go you go down here to share and then you click on embed and then it will bring up this then you're going to copy that text and I want to put it in a little text editor to make it easier so I'm going to make a text editor to make it easier oh where are I so I'm going to make a text editor to make it easier. So here we go there. Paste it in. Okay, so here you've got the source. So I'm going to copy this out here. Cut that. I'll copy that actually. Just put it down here. Paste. Now, this is not complete. This will just basically give you a link that you can paste in a in a frame or on your page and, and it, it will work but it, because the browser source are not actually clickable on your screen on your source you need to set it to auto play so what you do here is you put a question mark and you do auto play and that equals one true okay that's great but you still see all the controls the play buttons and everything like that according at the bottom and that's not going to be a good look so we can add another parameter called controls and we can hide those so we can say that equal to zero we don't want to see them so that's our basic url okay if you want to check out what some other things are here let me just copy that off first okay i'll copy that so we've got that later if you want to see some other things in here there are a lot of parameters you can start the video at a certain time stop it at a certain time so you can put those into the parameter so it'll just take the section of video that you want to play you can make it loop even and everything like that accordingly you can okay so yeah you can see you can start at a time and you can set an end an end time as well I see the end tag here so you can set the start finish and the start time into the parameter just by adding add, start, and end. So it'll start at a particular time and finish it at a particular time automatically. So that's pretty cool. So now, what do we do in OBS? So let me bring up another OBS window. Uh, so we can see that. So I'll create a new window. Okay, so that's okay. I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to create a new scene. And we just call it YouTube. Or we'll just call it YT actually for short. And in here, oh, just ignore that, this thing will come up. And we're going to add a Linux browser. It's going to be browser source on your particular computer or whatever you have in the particular anyway. That's fine. So we're going to call it YouTube vid, okay, for video. Okay. We go okay. And then we, I copied and pasted that URL I remember before. So I paste that in here. Now you can set up the dimensions any way that you want. Okay, I'm just turning the sound down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to set the width and the dimension to the width of the page, so it's full screen. 1920 is in the width of my page, and the height is 1080. 
Okay, down here we need to activate a couple of checkboxes here. We want to reload and active so that every time it's the, the page is visible or the control is made visible, it will restart. We also need to stop browser when hidden so that if you hide it or go back and forward, it will restart automatically as well. So with those done, we are done. So as you can see, the video is playing and if I make it invisible and click it, it will reload and start again. And there's no controls, it just looks like a normal video in your screen. So, so there we are. I hope that makes sense. You can now embed videos from YouTube directly inside OBS. It's not a problem. You've always been able to do it. Just that it's probably pretty hidden of how you actually do it accordingly. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Share it as well, please. It'd be fantastic. You can go to my Facebook page as well and you can follow that as well and to get more information and get some spiritual tips on the way. So as usual, it's been a pleasure having you guys. So God bless.